Am I ready for bed? Hello and welcome to Wildflowers. It is a Wednesday and today our flowers, the Thomas, should be grown. These are going to take a while longer. Nothing in here. What about the greenhouse? Well, yeah, the flowers, of course. Let's sow maybe some cabbages. And I saw that the wheat was ready here. We are going to be able to make a ton of flour. Let's sow some more. We can always use like a miracle grow. The, uh, the stronger version of the Miracle Grow potion on these. Yeah, I think we'll have to. They are going to take eight days and maybe possibly we'll want to turn the seasons to summer after this week. I think that's the length that seasons have usually had in this game about a couple of in-game weeks bd hello layla pancho Lady and Luna. Matilda, you know, you've got lots of space to move around in here. No need to stay in such a clump. Buttercup. Cleocatra. Here, kitty kitty. Aww, still loving that, aren't ya? Let's go and see to our potions and essences. And of course we'll want to make more of the crystal ball potions. We want to learn everybody's favorites. Let's just uh, start going down the list. In order, so uh, Damon. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Bobo T or Bobo Tai, whichever. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. K 
Cape Malay Carry. All right. Let's go and uh, see if Thomas is on his farm. We have some flowers for him. Oh. Hi, Thomas. Having a nice day? There you are. Been wanting to talk to you. That offer to buy my place I mentioned before? Well, whoever it is, they've stepped it up. Got more letters in the mail. Seen tracks around the farm that aren't mine. What about you? Has anyone offered to buy your farm? Any idea who it might be? Well, we know this by now. It was Marty. But, no, um... but I would never sell anyway. My farm stays in the Wild family. Good for you. Always amazed how some folks will just throw away their history. Just keep your eyes and ears open and don't trust anyone, especially newcomers. What about me? I'm a newcomer too, Thomas. Nah, you're an islander now, Tara. And we have to protect this place. Nah, besties. Well, bestie, here are some flowers. Here you go, Thomas. One bunch of flowers for a gorgeous bouquet. Thanks, Tara. Um, can I ask you something? Sure, what? Well, I, uh, don't know what I should say. When I ask out Sophia, you're friends with her. What do you think? Just tell her how you feel about her. Sophia's kind of a no-nonsense person. Yeah, that's one of the things I like most about her. Ha, huh. okay. Well, I better get these in some water if they're going to last long enough for me to give them to her. Good luck. <laughs> well... I hope we're going to hear about how that went at some point. I'm sure we will. Some people think cabbage tastes funny. You gotta respect the cabbage. Nah. Marty. Hi. Marty? Uh, uh, Martin? Uh, which, which one is it? It's Marty. My father's estate manager's just called. Maplethorpe Tower has been sold to pay his creditors, and I feel... fine, actually. It's strange. All my life I've carried the weight of the Maplethorpe name, but now for the first time my future is completely mine to define. For better or worse. So you'll stay? Yep. What would become of Matilda or Attila the Hen if I left? Besides, I can't give Thomas the satisfaction of watching me move out. Look at you taking responsibility for your livestock. I know. Following through on something we start is not exactly a Maplethorpe trait. It feels weird. But good. When I came here, I thought I was going to be dealing with a bunch of country rubes, but then this strange thing happened. I began to actually like the people here. I just hope they give me another chance. Well, um, I will. Juliet's pretty good on the strings. You think she'd play a cover of Home on the Range for my channel intro? Hmm. You might have to pay her to do that. And maybe credit her in the uh, description. But maybe. Shelby, you're not here today either. Do you have some kind of um? different schedule for spring that I don't recall. I thought he was always going to be here. Except on some days he goes for a stroll around town. Hmm.
Oh well, we have plenty of other things to do. Hi, Parker. How's it going? Oh, fine, I guess. Um, hey, has Lena seemed off to you lately? Whenever I ask her if something's wrong, she just shrugs and says she's a bit tired. You see, I'm on a path to becoming a better person, a better man, and I want to improve our relationship mm -hmm. too. But I can't if she just keeps shutting me out. I feel like she's just fine with keeping the status quo. You're a friend. What should I do? I guess we should have had this scene quite a lot earlier, too. I know Lena loves you, but stoicism is just part of her nature. She doesn't like relying on others or burdening them with her problems. But, like, I'm her husband. I want to be burdened. Burden away. I'm not trying to change who she is. Just get her to let me in a little. I love Lena for who she is. I know she doesn't wear a heart on her sleeve all the time like I do. It's just... There are few things lonelier than feeling lonely even when you're with someone. That's all. Thanks for listening, Tara. No. I'm trying to get Zephyr to pop into the customer side of the bakery. I don't mind having such enthusiastic taste tester visits, but... Her suddenly materializing out of thin air cannot be good for my ticker. <laughs> well, that's Zephyr for ya. Mmm, these are the best! I don't think she'll ever change. Whew. There's nothing like a good workout carrying two by fours to get the blood pumping. The most exercise I got before moving here was climbing the metro stairs. Oh. So life on the farm has definitely changed for you then. Make sure you're eating enough to keep your energy up. Nah, we don't have anything for you. So the hot events are clearly meant to be experienced during the first year before the uh, grand, um, scene. With Vanessa. Tara, don't tell the others, but you're my favorite patient. Aww, Amira. It's funny, she knew I would turn to sugary snacks when. Juliet's been bringing up Italy a lot lately. I want to surprise her so she doesn't know I've started a savings fund for us to go one day. Oh, that's nice. Bruno? Gloria, Giacomo, Marcus and Lena. All my neighbors were witches and I never knew. I understand why they never said a word. I do. But it's an awful lot to find all this out. Especially at my age. Well, I think you're doing pretty well. Give us a good teacher, like Helena was. It's cool the kids can get out of the classroom and experience something real sometimes. Wesley, hi. My grandfather used to tell me that bears and wolves are our friends, not our enemies. Then wouldn't he want you to embrace the way you look? Yes. And I'm trying for him. Kim? Kim, I love your boots. Oh, thanks. I've had these old stompers forever. I stole them from my big brother. <laughs> hmm. I wonder where Kai is. We need to, uh, we need to talk to him too and uh, maybe get to the stage where we can have dinner with him. I don't see him around the beaches, though it is a rainy day. I guess let's go forage for recipes a little and then we'll go and water our plants in the gloaming 
and maybe see if there's anything new at the coven meeting. Giva. Hi. Result! This is perfect, Tara. What's up, new teach? Oh, just thinking of how to restore the children's faith in school now that their teacher's been revealed as an egomaniacal kidnapper. <laughs> You're neither egomaniacal nor a kidnapper, so you should be fine. Right, but I should show them they can trust me. I was thinking maybe a picnic? And you could help by providing fresh veggies? But Emmy and Finn hate fresh veggies, remember? Oh, please. I know that. I want to make pav budgie with potatoes and cauliflower. It's one of my favorite meals from Mumbai. You take vegetables and simmer them with spices until you get a mash, top it with butter, and... <laughs> oh, even the twins won't turn up their noses at that. We'll all go sit by the overlook outside my house and eat a meal together. It'll be idyllic. In that case, I really can't say no to bringing you potatoes and cauliflower. I bought all the spices I'd need for the puff budgie from Kai. Now I just need the vegetables. And voila! Here they are! Oh, this is perfect! Thanks, Tara. I'll let you know how my picnic gambit works out. All right. So you're going to be the new teacher. That's exciting. Ah, right! I just need to create new lesson plans for the spring semester. And also sort out what exactly I'm going to write in my report on Fairhaven's weather. I'm going to have to say something, and it was witches won't really hold up when I'm defending my dissertation. Yeah, good luck with that. You must be a mind reader. Oh. All right, so... Any recipes? Is it a... Uh, it is! A recipe! Italian sausage. So there are still new recipes for us to learn. Wow. Hmm. I found something. <gasps> a recipe! Caramel popcorn. Well, let's go water our flowers. And then maybe we'll also talk to a few people here. Oh. And I've totally forgotten about the wallflower from the second part of the gloaming. We'll need that for the enchanted silver wires if we want to fix more of the gem finders in the mine. Let's gather some, and while we're here, we may also gather the uh, wolf's bane. Actually, it takes quite a bit to get to the wolf's bane. You have to use the wand on the brambles and you have to use it twice and you have to drink a levitation potion hmm but the wool flowers are easy enough to get The forest is full of useful ingredients for potions. Lena balances her life far better than I ever did. I respect her immense fortitude. It's what our coven needs. 
Yeah, she is like a rock. I don't think anybody else is going to have anything new to say. Unfortunately, we may have exhausted all of their dialogue options. I think we may want to just uh, run to the bar and maybe see if we can talk to some people on the way. I'm kind of jealous Francis was initiated. I want to know more about my dad's other life. You will, one day. And actually, that day may not be all that far away. Just a few years. Yum. I'm not even hungry, but I'll totally make room for this. Although I guess if she's supposed to be like 12, then a few years is going to feel like a long time. Natalia and is that Kai? Yeah. When I first started coming around here, Damon's dad still ran the place. His mom came around sometimes too. Uh, she's a pharmacist, but she also does like Reiki or something. She touched on my old injuries and they stopped hurting for a while. I don't think we have anything for you, Natalia. So, how'd it go with Sophia? Oh. Tara, she loved the pans. You were right. Knowing that Sophia forgives me, oh, it's a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> and now you don't have to avoid the diner. No more missing Sophia's pies of the week. All right, let's go home. We'll check on our potions and essences and I think the crystal ball potions should be done. Yes, they are. So we'll get to know someone's favorites. Well, a couple of someone's favorite things as well. Francis. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Empanada. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. And pina colada. All right. Let's go to bed. And tomorrow, Wesley's shop should be open, so we'll be able to get that incantation, well, the recipe for that incantation that's going to help Angus. And maybe we'll finally get to talk to Shelby during the day. We'll see. Until then, though. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. I'd like it if you'd leave me a like. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe. To conveniently keep up with my content. And to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.